We know that stress is the most critical element that affects English accent. So how do we improve our ability to perform English stress? Hi, I'm Wayne. In this video, I will share the best way to train our ability to perform English stress. When thinking about how to improve English stress, we must first understand some English stress knowledge. First of all, what is stress? Stress is the act of making a syllable relatively longer and louder. This applies to all tone units of two or more syllables. For example, in the word apple, we can see that at is longer and louder, so we can see that it's stressed. Why is stress so important? There are two reasons. First, it gives you a better accent. Second, it may change the meaning of the word or sentence. For example, the farm was used to produce produce. The dumb was so full that it had to refuse more refuse. I did not object to the object. Since there is no time like the present, he thought it was time to present the present. When performing stress in English, a common mistake is to have more than one primary stress in one tone unit or forget to weaken some syllables. Primary stress is the strongest level. There can only be one primary stress syllable in a tone unit. A weak syllable is an unstressed syllable. However, the vowel is weakened so it weighs even less than an ordinary unstressed one. They have the weakest level of stress. If you want to know when to use different stress levels, you can watch this video. Therefore, in order to improve our ability to perform English stress, we will train on this problem. When training, try to record yourself so that you can review and make targeted improvements to be more efficient. Targeted stress training can be divided into single word training and sentence training. Single word training is a relatively beginner level, mainly to see if you can pronounce only one primary stress and pronounce the syllables that need to be weakened weak enough. For example, when pronouncing resonation, ne should be pronounced heavier and zik and shen should be pronounced in lightness. Re cannot be as strong as ne and must be lighter than ne, but heavier than zik and shen. You can use any word with two or more syllables, although the more syllables it has, the harder it will be. Sentence training can be divided into preset and no preset. Preset means presetting the primary stress and weak syllables in a sentence, and then reading it to see if you pronounce each tone unit with only one primary stress and pronounce the syllables that need to be weakened weak enough. No preset means not presetting the primary stress and weak syllables in a sentence. Just read the sentence naturally and then see if you pronounce each tone unit with only one primary stress and pronounce the syllables that need to be weakened weak enough. The main difference between preset and no preset is that no preset can help you pronounce or read these words and sentences more naturally. You can use any sentence, although the more syllables the sentence has, the more difficult it will be. You can also try using different stress patterns in the same sentence. For example, my name is Wayne. My name is Wayne. My name is Wayne. My name is Wayne. Remember, a sentence can have more than one tone unit. That is, a sentence can have more than one primary stress, but one tone unit can only have one primary stress. Remember, tone units are usually divided by pauses or depending on your preference. For example, my name is Wayne, has two tone units. And the stress pattern can be, my name is Wayne. If you want to know how to divide the tone units, you can watch this video. After practicing single word training and sentence training, we can conduct training to combine them. The most direct way is talking to yourself. The training of talking to yourself is mainly used to test your natural speaking ability and to test your overall ability. This training is a little more difficult than the previous ones. First of all, one of the hardest parts of this training is that it's hard to think of what to say at the moment. So I propose two solutions. The first one is describing. You can talk to yourself by describing what you see or experience, such as describing your room, pets, a schedule, or what you are seeing at the moment because these things are what you are seeing personally or experiencing, so you don't have to worry about not being able to think of what to say at the moment. The second one is utilizing scenarios. You can use scenarios to talk to yourself. 
such as deciding some questions for yourself to answer yourself, and imagining what you would do if you were in danger. This will be more difficult than describing, but closer to daily thinking. How to analyze and improve after recording is also one of the most difficult aspects. After recording yourself talking to yourself, you can write down what you said, and then mark the correct pronunciation or intonation. Then, compare it with our pronunciation and intonation in the recording to see whether that we perform the correct pronunciation and intonation. You may ask, my ears are not sensitive. How can I find the areas that need improvement? I can tell you that you don't need to rely on your ears. Why? Actually, I don't know if you've noticed, but most recording tools have such a sound wave thing. We only have to rely on our naked eyes to see it. And the size of the sound waves represents the weight of our speech, because stress is the act of making syllables relatively longer and louder. So you can judge your weight distribution just by looking at the size of the sound waves in your recording. So you can find out where your problems are and practice weight distribution effectively. This is the sound wave when I record using the built-in recording tool of my mobile phone. I used "I love it." To demonstrate, I love it because I pronounce "love" the loudest. Its sound wave is larger. In this video, we learn basic English stress knowledge, common English stress mistakes, how to use targeted training to improve English stress, and how to identify areas that need improvement without relying on our ears. Hope this video helps you. If you're interested in acquiring a standard English accent, click the link below to get a free gift. This video ends here. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.